Last year, it was estimated the impact from the compact was about $125 million. But according to Governor Eddie Calvo's chief policy advisor, Arthur Clark, if you look further back, it's estimated to be drastically more. If we go back to the beginning of the uh, of the compact, uh, we're close. To, we're, 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 well, if you throw in FY 2013, we're probably at the billion dollar mark now as far as uh, what we feel are un, un, uh, reimbursed uh, uh, impacts. Clark says that's an alarming figure, adding some of the challenges have been noted in reporting templates between the Department of the Interior and the government of Guam, a matter of concern not only on island, but to others in the Pacific as well. The lieutenant governor of Hawaii, then Lieutenant Governor Schatz, the Governor of Guam, Governor CNMI, all discussed this, this report issue and then we agreed that we would work together to develop a template, uh, primarily because we asked the Department of Interior to provide one and they said that's not their job. Uh, so, But they are critical of the reports we're using, so they know what's wrong with it, but they're not going to tell us you know, what we need to do to make it right. The reports outline the impacts of the compacts and recommendations for corrective action. And in order to overall address the gaps and deficiencies regarding the impacts of the compacts of free association on the territory, along with the reporting templates, a special task force is in the works. We're working on trying to get a task force in place then that we can take all these issues, address them, and start, and, and start coming up with a comprehensive plan to go forward to, to deal with these issues. He adds no names have been set in stone, but he has had discussions with some former senators on the compact impact issue. He says it's only in the initial discussion phase, but hopes to have it impaneled sometime this year. Ultimately, Clark it says it's an initiative uh, that needs to be done. The federal government comes back with, here's why we can't help you any further, because you have some gaps, whether it's relative to deport, deportation, whether it's relative to computing the amounts of the impacts, uh, you know, the total effect. So, um, you know, to the extent it's incumbent on us to, to shore up you know, our house and make sure we have everything in order and then present the federal government, uh, it'll certainly help us when we go and make petitions. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Ken Quintanilla.